Would you just shut up, man? That, that's not how this works. Who wants to watch me do something stupid? Welcome back to CSM TV. We're back and we're going to work on the harness. We're going to work on covering it, pinning it. Um, I definitely didn't forget to do an intro because I was going to combine it with another video and the harness is definitely not finished behind me. But um, yeah, so I was going to combine it with the other ECU pinning video, but it started to get a little long, so I decided to cut it up and make a different one. So yeah, we'll go ahead and jump right into it and uh, yeah, we we'll get to covering and pinning this guy. All right, so moving on to the harness side, I'm um, just going to kind of go over it just real quick because it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of the same stuff over and over. So probably won't do a, do a time lapse because it's going to take me a while and no one wants to really watch me struggle that much. So, But I do have a kind of setup for how it's going to go. And uh, three on the tripod, kind of explain it there. All right, so we got our other half of the harness that goes to our disconnect. And uh, first thing we got to put on is a heat shrink that goes on here, which is going to be fun. All right, which there's that. <laughs> Probably should have taken these with it. Then you get this boot on here. That's for um, for our disconnect. This boot is going to be for the joint. It's a uh, adhesive lined uh, piece of heat shrink. So. Alrighty. So might have to. Yeah. Probably have to shrink this down first. So, kind of get that in place. All right, there she is. Kind of lumpy, whatever. Can't do anything about it. So, let's slide these over. I'm gonna. We'll let this cool off before this stuff slides over so we don't get anything weird shrinking. All right, so this is cooled down. We've got our boot on here. It's going to be our other boot. It goes kind of over this part of it. That'll kind of glue everything together. Then I got some, got this all pinned and ready to go. This is going to be tight. Oh, it's not that bad. So that'll get shrink. Get another boot. I'll go there. Well, I guess I need to get the label on there first. So then the label. So there's input speed, which is input speed for in and out for uh, the trans that I'm doing right here. For the easiest example. This one is tight, so that'll be fun. Probably need to shrink this down before I put the label on. But anyways, that and a clear piece of heat shrink, and then the boot can go on there. Yeah, once all that stuff is on there, finally pin it. Go off our uh, pin diagram that we have here. I'll pin it. This will be, I'll probably heat shrink this in the label, but the boot part, because this is stiff and it's got glue in it, it's not going to move very well. So I'm not going to shrink any of this stuff until I am 100% good with the harness. 
So after I check everything, that's when I'll pull this back, shrink it up, and then glue everything in. All right, we'll do a quick update on the harness. Uh, been working on it for a couple days, so got it quite a bit done. And uh, go ahead and go over some of the progress. Um, I started with the engine side, which I wouldn't recommend because I, I didn't even think about it when I did it. Um, I've never really messed with Raykim or heat or any of the labeling and all that stuff. So I don't know why you would start on the stuff you see and not start over there on the stuff that's going to be under the dash. But whatever it is what it is. It looks okay. Not too mad at it. But anyways, um, missing a couple things. I misplaced a couple connectors, so I didn't pin these out yet, which I found my connectors. So I can move forward with those and wait on some labels for a few things. But this is what I got so far. Um, some of these are a little long on, well, I say a little short, I guess, on the heat shrink. And they have these boots, I have these boots on here, and I haven't shrunk these down. Just because I'm going to wait until, uh, until we actually test everything out. I didn't re really want to shrink anything, but just to get the boots on and over, it has to be shrunk down so they actually fit. But I'm going to wait for these guys until we test the harness. And uh, I can know that at least from pin to pin they're correct just in case I need to depin something and repin it. But over here I got pretty much pretty close getting there. There's a couple things again waiting on labels which I have labels now. Had a local buddy actually print some up for me and got them to me pretty quick so that's awesome. Now I'll be working on uh, headlights and turn signal stuff that goes uh, to the PDM. I'll do an example, just kind of show you my process, what I've kind of figured out on doing all this um, so far since we're there. So we got a couple things to pin. Um, I was waiting on labels on. I got labels. I just haven't pinned them yet. Once again, that's a little short. It happens, but... Uh, yeah, so I'll go over some of that and uh, do an example. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get to that. All right, so we've got our uh, breakouts for our lights and our PDM here. We'll do this uh, three pin, which uh, is the driver run light breakout. It's kind of what I named it. It's got the uh, horn, uh, the marker light, and the turn signal. For the driver's side so i got everything taped out actually on all of these where uh actually i tape it to where about the heat shrink needs to go or where i want it to go which kind of work that out with how the connector fits and pins and all that stuff but i'll show you that in a second first we'll need a piece of uh ray Kim. i'm going to use some 3 16 seems to recover down nicely on three wires so well three wires of 20 gauge so basically to get this measurement try to get it I don't actually measure it just kind of hold it up close as I can straight as I can then get it kind of in our little tape zone that's not what I want to use yeah there's my scissors So get this on here. There's that. So it's right there on our tape. That's usually what we're going for. Sometimes uh, I don't make that, but whatever. Try our best. Try to recover this stuff and make sure you're not going to melt anything. Seems pretty decent. Oh, 
So you flip it around this way because I'm more comfortable kind of working this way on it. So, well, I was going to try to go in the pain, but we definitely don't need to do that. Need to get a label on there. So, it's our label, driver run light. And this actually, this will match our paperwork here too. Paperwork, computer work. Because it's on a computer, not on paper. And then also try to, I've, I've got a length about three quarters of an inch. Should probably do an inch to give me more room. I'm we'll gonna start doing that actually. Go so about an inch away, try to keep everything um, uniform just to make it look a little better for my own sake. Then we get our label. And we need our clear heat shrink over that. Actually measure the label even. Go about a quarter past. So it's about an inch. Seems like a little much. So it's whatever. I just kind of do it. I should just do it by sight because I feel like it looks better that way, anyways. Get that on there. Actually, I'm going to turn it down a little more even. Seems excessive. So clear heat shrink to protect the label. I'll rub off. Put that dude down. So yeah, pretty easy stuff so far, except for a little more heat. Pretty easy stuff so far. That's what we got, so you want to keep it uniform, just measure everything out, kind of where you want it, where you figure out where you want it, so that's what I've been kind of doing. Now we can get to strip and pin. And since I grabbed the male pin, we'll use the female connector. I haven't determined which ones to use. Just kind of keep it loose. But if there is any connectors that are close to each other with the same amount of pins, uh, flip the sex of the connectors so, uh, so they can't really be plugged into each other at least easily and hopefully that kind of helps if you're rushing to do something so you don't make a mistake. Hey before you do all that make sure to uh, put in your boot for your uh, for your breakout otherwise you get to deep in the connector. Alrighty, almost ready to pin. Need to put our SCL heat shrink on. Put that on. We'll do that later. And just need to pin it, which this doesn't matter too much. If you're doing a Deutsch, you can, you know, just pin it however you want. I just like to do it however the wires kind of I guess flow 
instead of trying to pin it and have wires like crisscross or do something weird. But actually, try to get them in a sort of matchup. There we go. Sometimes they're fun to pin in. Three. Just need to grab our little lock here. Shove that dude in. There we go. That one turned out pretty good. We'll put once it's tested, put our shrink boot over it. Oh yeah, we got plenty. Shrink it down. Got it labeled. Hopefully it's right in the harness. Otherwise, probably gonna burn the car to the ground. So yeah, that's the process. Um, bring it back in for another update at some point. Alrighty, time for another update. I uh, got it mostly done as much as I can. Still waiting on some connectors. Well, I got to figure out and order some, but that's okay. Got uh, got this all ironed out. Uh, IAT, the drive -by wire throttle body, VSS. It's all on there. Got to wait till that's uh, on the car. Do that. We talked about that before. Um, all this stuff is done. Besides missing a couple connectors, need to go over the list and figure out what I need. So all this, all the lights and stuff, they're all done and labeled. Sick label, bro. That's right. Adapt and overcome or something. Anyways, last thing we got to do. Yep. See you later. Last thing we got to do is uh, are these coils. So went over it a couple times in my head of which way they need to face. We're going to stagger them all. Once I get them staggered, uh, get into wiring. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. Alright, there it is. All uh, 121 pins on the ECM, all 217 or so pins done on the harness. So she is done, pinning wise. We have uh, Buddy Matt came over and uh, used the uh, old Craftsman multimeter, toned everything out, and uh, double checked everything, double checked my pinning, made sure everything was good. Did find one issue, swapped an injector and a coil, which wasn't a big deal to swap, thankfully. They were the same color, so easy mistake. Everything else was pretty good. Changed a couple things that uh, weren't happy with, but all in all, actually, it's really good. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't, uh, haven't recovered down some of this stuff, the ends, because I still want to test the harness on the uh, PDM and ECU. Before I do that, I have done some of the joints here. I did recover some of those. So those are all done. So the harness can go in, about ready to go. But that'll uh, that'll do it for this video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.